Okay, everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the proper use of the uh, ultimate clip loader made by um, McFadden Machine out of Blairsville, PA. Um, seen literally hundreds of videos on this thing. I've only seen two out of all the videos I've seen that show the proper use of this. The one video is made by 459 Day 459, which I believe is either a founder of this um, company that makes this product or an employee. And he was, the, it wasn't a really an, um, an illustrating video. He was at 20 feet away from the camera. It was kind of hard to see the use, but I kind of picked up on something. Uh, and then the other thing I picked up on when I got it, I actually read the instructions, which from all the videos I've seen, everybody obviously is taking the instructions out of the box, throwing them on the counter, or throwing them in trash, and I ain't reading them because it's one page, I believe, and it takes two minutes to read it. And it, and it states something very important about the use of this uh, product. So there's two common mistakes with this product. Um, so how I use this product uh, is I'll load the hopper, and I apologize for not having uh, more ammo. All my ammo was recalled by uh, Federal, so this is all I've got left over. Um, and I'm waiting on replacement ammo. Um, but you put your ammo in the uh, hopper, and then what I do to make things flow smoother is I hit it with um, uh, just a real quick you know real quick shot of uh, Remington Rem Lube. You have to be real careful what you use in these because certain um, petroleum distillates they said will eat this product up. So I use the Rem Lube which is what they approve um, and, and every time I load this hopper you know a couple one to two second shot of Rem Lube on the cartridges uh, and then kind of just roll them around a little bit to get the cartridges loaded in there. But uh, after you uh, get some of the uh, cartridges loaded in, you'll see they'll drop into this channel. Um, and this channel is what uh, sets them up, stages them for loading into the magazines. What holds them right here and keeps them from falling out is this ball bearing detent. It's a spring loaded detent. When you insert the uh, magazine into the magazine well here, it moves the ball bearing out of the way and allows the cartridges to fall in. Um, <clears throat> There's no adjustment there at all and on that at, on that at all. So I've got them lined up and the problem that I've seen on these videos on the use of these videos is people will put their people will put their magazines in here and they'll sit there and they'll pump them do, 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 and one pump per round. Totally not necessary. I've seen them put their magazines in and shake the crap out of it to get the rounds fall. Not necessary. Uh, I've seen people, you know, using it like this improper um, the proper use of this which is the one thing that everybody seems to overlook and it's written right in the instructions is there's a line right here that says hold level you're supposed to hold it straight and hold it level to that line now I found in my experiences I gotta tilt it you know, like here's level I gotta tilt it up just a little bit from level to get it to work properly but when you got all these cartridges lubed up and you're using it properly this is how it should look Uh, actually, I didn't do it there. Actually, my cartridges are dry because I can't find my rem loop. And I'll show you again here. That's how it's supposed to loop, right there. Uh, if my cartridges were lubed up real good, I'd do that every time. Um, and again, I'll do it one more time just so you can see it. Make sure I got enough cartridges in there. Mm, I believe that exceeds 10. So here it goes, one more time. And you've seen how it didn't go, I just let up and go. went at it one more time. There's no need to pump it for every cartridge. And if it stops, let up a little bit and go at it again, it'll go. Um, now, that's that's the most common mistake I've seen in the videos, is not holding it straight and not holding it at, at the spot where it's supposed to be level. That's the first most common mistake, the biggest mistake, uh, by all means. The other mistake, which is a complaint I've seen a lot in the videos, is... I get this tenth round that falls out all the time. You know, I load it, pull the, cart pull the magazine out, cartridge falls out on the floor. Well, the funny thing is, it's not the tenth round. Generally, it's the eleventh round. Uh, and what that is, is that is this screw being out of adjustment. When you load this magazine in there and push, it presses this detent and allows the cartridges to fall in. If this piece is being pulled down too far, it's allowing an eleventh one to try and fall in, but it can't. There's not enough room for it. 
But the problem is, by that time it's already made it past this ball bearing. It can't go back. So when you pull this out, it just falls out. Now, if you put this magazine in there, and you get a cartridge that falls out, and you actually count, you got 10 in here, it's the 11th one, that means it screws down too far, you got to run it up a little bit. If you pull the cartridge out, or the magazine out, and you get a cartridge that falls out, and it's there's nine in here, and the one that fell out was an actual tenth one, then the screw's in too far. Okay, so you have to just mess with the screw. When I first got mine, I loaded 20 magazines probably before I finally got it at the point where it was working smoothly. Um, so, and the biggest problem I've seen, I've seen a couple videos where people were adjusting these and they're turning them like five turns. Oh, that ain't working. You know, back it out two turns. That ain't working. Try it a half a turn at a time. Right now, you'll see that mine is just a thread or two past the, the bottom of the apparatus here. Um, you might want to start there and, you know, half a turn up, half a turn back, whatever. But, um, you know, once you get that screw dialed in, and I've got four magazines, new ones and old ones. And it works just as well for all four magazines. Once you get that screw dialed in, and once you use this device properly, you'll love it. If you don't, what will happen, you'll see, I've seen a lot of people in those videos where they just get frustrated. You can tell in their voice they're frustrated. Because they're trying to demonstrate to you how it works and it's not working. So they get a little upset about that. Uh, so one more time I'm going to show you. i got the, got the magazine, or the cartridges loaded in the uh, well there, getting ready to insert the magazine. And... Boom, all 10, that fast. That's how it's supposed to work. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post the comments or email me with questions. Um, I'm going to stick a little uh, annotation right here with the um, manufacturer's website. You can order from them. Um, the downside is, is they only accept orders through fax machine, uh, which surprises me. But... Uh, you can also order, I believe, Midway, uh, Midway USA carries them. MidwayUSA.com, I'll put that annotation here. Um, and uh, th that's one of two places. There's several places. But I did order mine directly from the manufacturer. And they were pretty quick. I think I ordered, I sent my fax in on Tuesday, and I either had, I'm in Ohio, so I'm not too far away from Pennsylvania. I had mine on Thursday, I think. So it was pretty quick. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me with them. I appreciate it. Thanks.